Closing market comments for Monday, November the 16th. Grains opened unchanged and traded a little higher overnight on some pretty quiet news overall. Uh, during the morning break, we did have good export sales or export shipments released and Informa on Friday night had lended support with some numbers that they released. Export shipments, corn at 32.2 million, up slightly from last week at 27.1 and last year at 25.6 with 26 to 39 million expected, but the needed is 56.6, so we continue to run well behind there. Soybean shipments were 82.3 million, down from 104.8 the previous week, but above last year at 56.5, with 51 to 92 expected, and only 33.8 needed, but as we know, soybeans are gonna be early loaded. Wheat export shipments were 12.0 million, that's up from 11.2 the previous week and below last year at 17.0 with 10 to 22 expected and 19 needed per week. Informa on Friday night released corn acres at 91.7 million for the 21-22 crop year. That's down 230,000 from their October estimate but 764,000 above this year and 1.7 million acres above the baseline report that the USDA put out a week ago. They have soybean acres at 89.1 million. That's down 100,000 from the October estimate, but 6 million above last year, and just about in line with the USDA's base numbers. They had all wheat acres at 46.0 million acres. That's down 260,000 from their October estimate, but 1.7 million above the 20 crop, and again, right on the baseline number that the USDA put out. Cotton acres at 13 million. That's up 390,000 from their October estimate and 903,000 above the 20 crop. So some friendly numbers on the uh, exports, some big numbers on planted acres for next year. We did have 8 million to prevent plant this year, so they are putting those all back into production. In other news, we did have rumors of China continuing to look for corn and soybeans, but nothing was confirmed with any sales announcements for the fourth day in a row. Ag Rule put planting progress in Brazil at 69.2%, but they also announced that Mato Grosso will be replanting 741,000 acres of soybeans due to dry weather. The Chinese pig herd was up 27% compared to a year ago, and dry weather remains in Brazil and Ukraine at this time, lending support to the market. Soybean crush was released today at noon. Uh, crush figure was 185.2 million bushels of soybeans in October. That is up from the guess of 177.1. It's above the usage last year at 175.4 and well above the September number at 161.5. The 185.2 is a new monthly record on soybean crush exceeding the March number of 181.4. So we'll see what these markets can continue to do. We did get a little bullish news today. Can we get some more tomorrow? Thanks for watching. Have a good day.